I don't know why I listen to my parents and marry the cold husband of mine who don't love me. I just want this little attention which he can't give me. Wine stepped into the grand lecture hall, her heart pounding with an anxiety. The whispers and glances from her fellow students did nothing to calm her nerves. She had heard countless stories about Professor Kim Tae-hyung, his ruthless grading and his cold demeanor, but she never imagined she would be facing him so soon. Taking a deep breath, she found a seat near the middle of the room, hoping to blend in. Just as she settled, the heavy wooden doors at the front of the hall swung open and Professor Kim strode in. His presence commanded immediate silence. He was tall with sharp features and an intense gaze that made Vine's heart skip a beat. His aura was intimidating and the room seemed to grow colder with each step he took. Good morning, class. His deep voice resonated through the hall and Professor Kim Tae-hyung, I accept nothing but excellence from each one of you. Those who cannot keep up there is the door. His words sent a shiver down Vine's spine. She knew this master would be challenging but she was determined to prove herself. As the lecture progressed, Vine found herself lost in Tae-hyung's explanations. He was intrigued, yes, but his passion for the subject was undeniable. However, every time she dared to glance at him, his eyes seemed to pierce through her, making her feel small and insignificant. After the class, Vine hurried to gather her things, but her clumsiness scored the better of her. Her books scattered across the floor, and she hesitantly bent down to pick them up. Careless a cold voice remarked above her. She looked up to find things staring down at her with a look of disdain. If you can't even handle your books, how do you accept to handle this course? I am sorry, Professor. Wine stammered, feeling the weight of his judgment. So he does not cut it. Be more careful next time. He said, walking away without another glance. Wine six burned with embarrassment as he finished gathering her belongings. This was going to be a long semester. The following week passed in a blur of lectures, assignments, and constant pressure. Once she struggled to keep up with the demanding coursework and Tehyang's hard and Tehyang's harsh critics, it seemed no matter how hard she tried, it was never enough for him. One afternoon, as Wan was studying in the library, she overheard a conversation that caught her attention. Did you hear Professor Kim is getting married? One student whispered to another. Really? To whom? The other replied. Some girl his parents set him up with. Apparently, it's all arranged. Vine's heart sank, so even someone as formidable as Professor Kim was not immune to parental expectations. She could not help but wonder what kind of woman would marry someone so cold and unapproachable. The dreaded day arrived sooner than expected. Vine's parents had been dropping hints for weeks about a match they had found for her, but she never imagined it would be this soon. She was ushered into a room filled with relatives and family friends. Her mother, with a broad smile, introduced her to the man she was to marry. Why this is Kim Tae-hyung, your fiancé? Why is her spun, her professor, her cold, unloving professor? Things stood there looking as totic as ever. His eyes briefly meets her, showing no sign of warmth or affection. We are honored to have you join our family, Vine's mother said, oblivious to the tension. Vine forced a smile, her mind racing. How was she supposed to marry someone who barely acknowledged her existence? The wedding was a blur. Vine felt like she was walking through a dream or rather a nightmare. The young school demanded did no change. He performed his duty with the same dispassionate efficiency he displayed in the classroom. I want to make one thing clear. He began his tone devoid of emotion. This marriage is in name only. I have no interest in a relationship with you. Vine's heart ached at these words, but she had expected no less. Why did you agree to marry me then? She asked softly. My parents insisted. He replied curtly, I could not refuse. And what about me? What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever you like as long as it does not interfere with my life. He said, turning away from her. I will be sleeping in the guest room. With that, he left, leaving Vine alone in the darkness. He found back tears, realizing just how isolated she truly was. They turns into week and life settled into a bleak routine. Tehyung was as cold and distant at home as he was in the classroom. 
Vine tried to reach out to him, but every attempt was met with indifference or outright rejection. One evening, Vine was preparing dinner when the doorbell rang. She opened the door to find a young woman standing there. She was beautiful with long hair and a confident smile. Hello, I am Sozin. The woman introduced herself. I am a colleague of Taehyung's. Vine invited her in, feeling a pang of jealousy. It was clear that Sozin was more than just a colleague. She seemed to know Taehyung well and he actually smiled when he saw her, a rare sight. Sozin, what brings you here? Taehyung asked. He is too noticeable warmer. I just wanted to see how you were settling in. She replied, her gaze shifting to Vine. I hear you got married recently. Yes, Taehyung said, his smile fading slightly. This is my wife, Vine. Sojin's eyes flicker with something one could not quite place. Nice to meet you, she said, though her tone was anything but sincere. Wan forced a smile, feeling more like an outsider in her own home. She watched as Taehyung and Sojin talked their familiarity evident. It was clear that Taehyung felt something for Sojin, something he did not feel for Wan. As the evening wore on, Wan excused herself and went to bed early, feeling the weight of her loveless. Loveless marriage pressing down on her. That night, as she lay in bed, I could not stop the tears from falling. She had married a man who don't love her, who barely even acknowledged her existence. All she wanted was a little attention, a small sign that he cared. But it seemed even that was too much to ask. In the darkness, she made a silent promise to herself. She would try to make this marriage work, to reach out to Taehyung and show him that she was worth his attention. But if he continued to treat her this way, she would not stay trapped in a loveless marriage. She deserved better than that and she would find a way to be happy with or without him. To be continued.